Over the past few months, Arsenal have had five bids rejected by Brighton and Hove Albion before finally completing the signing of Ben White two weeks ago. Throughout this period, there was never much doubt at the Emirates that a deal would be done, even if it meant finally agreeing to pay the 50 million that Brighton had always demanded for the England international. The Brighton hierarchy played hardball to achieve their initial asking price during meetings involving key figures at both clubs, conducted in person, on Zoom calls, and by phone over recent weeks. With Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta making it crystal clear to the club's owners that White was the man and player he thought was best suited to bolstering their defense and transforming their ailing fortunes, there was a sense that they would always get a deal over the line in the end. So, without further ado, what is the story behind Ben White's transfer, and why do Arsenal believe that he is the man to transform the Gunners? Throughout the past year or two, Brighton have been bracing themselves for interest in White long before the end of his highly impressive debut season in the Premier League. Leading clubs around England had scouted White regularly at matches throughout last season, with Chelsea among those interested at the start of the summer, but ultimately it was Arsenal who pushed ahead with a formal bid. They had watched White closely for at least a year, with the defender having caught their eye during his loan spell at Leeds during the 2019-2020 season. Ultimately, Brighton never even considered budging on their initial demand of a guaranteed £50 million. Their bargaining position was strengthened at the end of May, when White was included in Gareth Southgate's provisional England squad of 33 players for the Euros. That stance was then bolstered further the following week when White was promoted from the standby list to the final 26 to replace the injured Trent Alexander-Arnold. By this stage, Arsenal's interest was well known. Those close to White say he's rarely faced and takes everything in his stride. He doesn't deal in ifs and maybes and was never likely to have a strong opinion on his future until offers were on the table. He was happy enough for talks to continue while he was away with England, although once Southgate's side reached the latter stages of the competition, the consensus was that it was sensible to put it on the back burner. During the tournament, Arteta checked in with Bakayo Saka to get the youngster's view on his potential new club mate. With a 19-year-old's feedback overwhelmingly positive, Arsenal pushed forward for a deal. Arsenal and Brighton first met to discuss the prospect of a deal face-to-face -face in mid-June, with Paul Barber and Dan Ashworth acting as Brighton's delegation, while Richard Garlick and Edu represented Arsenal. It is believed that negotiations were positive throughout, as Ashworth and Garlick had worked together at West Brom prior to Garlick succeeding Ashworth as sporting and technical director in 2013. Ashworth, in his subsequent role as FA Technical Director, and Barber also dealt regularly with Garlic when he became the Premier League's Director of Football in the summer of 2018, before joining Arsenal at the start of this year. Hopefully, this won't be the first time that Garlic's experience and connections will aid Arsenal during transfer negotiations. Despite nothing being agreed at the first meeting, those relationships helped smooth the negotiating process and created an environment where it felt a deal was always possible. Even though the two sides were a considerable distance apart on their initial valuations of white. Arsenal's first offer is believed to have been around £42 million, but bit by bit, Ash Ashworth and Barber resolutely refused to budge on Brighton's £50 million asking price. Arsenal's bid increased and a deal got closer. Arsenal had four further bids rejected before an agreement was finally reached. The key elements of the deal, notably the guaranteed 50 million, were in place by that stage, and the closing talks between the chief executives were more about other details in the structure of the deal, such as the time period for the payment of the fee and the future sell-on clause. By this time, White's camp had already had in-depth telephone conversations with Mikel Arteta, in which the Spaniard made clear exactly where he saw the defender fitting into his team, as the right-sided centre-back, and also that Arsenal hoped that White wouldn't be the club's last significant signing of the summer. Those additional deals may be dependent on exactly who Arsenal can get out of the door in the coming few weeks. The signing of White has taken up a big chunk of the club's transfer budget, but it was deemed an opportunity that they had no choice to take. This is, after all, a player who has been on the radar of many of Europe's biggest clubs in recent times, including both Liverpool and PSG. So ultimately, what have Arsenal gained from White's move to the Emirates Stadium? 
Arsenal are getting an England international, who, aside from being sound defensively, is composed in possession and adaptable. He is also calm, laid back by nature, and extremely marketable. And given his age, he is only likely to get better. White has been a classy presence on the right of Graham Potter's favored three at the back system, but he also has the versatility to be comfortable in a back four and at right back or as a holding midfielder. The latter was a position he occupied in some matches for Brighton in the early stages of last season, having deputized in the role the previous season on loan to Leeds United when Calvin Phillips, now a close friend and England colleague, was unavailable. Young and versatile with the capabilities of improving Arsenal defensively as well as going forward. Ben White may not go down as the biggest signing of the summer in the Premier League, but for Arsenal, he could be truly transformational. That's the hope at least, that for White and Arsenal, the next step is a return to competing for the top four as well as major trophies.